Welcome to Trucks and Other Stuff, where we have fun with trucks, sometimes with cars, but always with tools. Uh, today we're going to be reviewing a uh, PJ trailer, the one that's right behind me. So stay tuned for that. But before we get started, I wanted to remind you of a couple things. Number one, um, the 1,000 subscriber challenge. So please, please hit the subscribe button right away. Get, um, get your chance to win a light bar. Um, that's coming up soon. We just hit 300 subscribers and we're continuing to grow. So please hit that subscribe button and uh, come along for the ride. We do a lot of things with trucks, especially with my F250 um, Power Stroke Diesel. Uh, it's a six liter. Um, do a lot of stuff with that. And also we, we review cars, we review trucks, and uh, today we're going to review a trailer. Um, and don't forget that in the description below, there, um, there's a list of things that I've done to my truck. Um, the, the leveling kit, uh, both the Atta Leaf Springs and the uh, front spacers are both in the description. Uh, links to those on Amazon, so go ahead and check those out. Also, uh, in the description is a link for um, my ball joint press. That's a very important tool that you probably will use. The one I got worked very well for me. Um, check that out. We'll have a link into the in the description, and also the um, I believe it's a light bar installation kit I reviewed not too long ago. That will also be in the description. So check those things out. All right. So now we go to the meat of the video. Let's take a look at this. This right here uh, is a PJ flatbed trailer. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a look around this thing. First, I want to show you. Let's see, I'm looking for, man, it's terrible. Uh, it's a Pro Series, uh, 12,000 pound capacity. This is, we had it derated down to, uh, I think down to 10, something like that. It does have, as you see, see here, it does have Dexter axles, um, so only the best. PJ, PJ is known for uh, good quality. Uh, you can get a cheaper trailer, something that will cost less to you, uh, but PJ is very good quality, and they're sturdy, and uh, they work very well. Uh, this is a, like I said, it's a flatbed trailer. It's a, it's a deck over trailer, so that means the wheels are below the deck. Um, it's very, it's completely flat up top. You have these diamond plated um, panels on both sides. Flat deck, um, the deck is above the axles. Like I said, it's a very sturdy trailer. Um, you look at these, at the, uh, the I-beams that it's made out of. It's very well constructed. Okay, so in the front we have uh, one jack. Um, it's your, like would be on a gooseneck or something like that. It has the crank on the side here. Crank this to raise and lower the trailer. Uh, quick release down there. Um, but the, the cool feature about this trailer, it's a flat deck, uh, a deck over trailer. Um, it's built very well, made by PJ. But the cool part about this trailer is the fact that it is a tilt deck trailer. So you get this nifty contraption here, up and down, um, and I'll go ahead and raise it up a little bit so you can see how this thing works. Very helpful. I'll show you a couple more features in a second, but let's get this lifted up a little bit. All right, we'll just leave it right there. When you lift it up, you do have the option here to brace it open with this beam here. Uh, again, we're not completely down. We're not completely angled, but this, this end down here comes all the way down to the ground and you can, uh, um, drive a vehicle up on it, or as we've done, I'm going to go ahead and walk up on this thing. It is safe to do so. Heavy stout trailer ain't going to move anywhere. I'm going to walk up on it. And right here, what we did, this is not a p part of PJ's system. Uh, they may have an option to, to do this, but for us, we mounted a winch. This, is, I believe, is a 12,000 pound winch that we mounted. Um, mounted right here to the top top piece right here see 
the only thing you can't see underneath, well, which I'll take you there in just a second here. We'll get around to it. Um, treated lumber, lumber there on the flat deck. Don't forget about that. A couple things that we've done to this trailer. Modifications. Okay, so like I said, it is a tilt deck. Um, sturdy built, PJ. Uh, I forget the length. I need to figure out that length. But uh should say around here somewhere. Oh well. Anyway, the things that we've done to it. So like I said, we have this winch here. Very helpful winch. That 12,000 pounds must have been just for the, the jack. So don't yell at me for that. Um, we have, as you can see here, you can see where we welded it. I painted over this. Um, but on the back side, we have some gussets to support the winch up there. So it's not just bolted to that one piece. We did some more modifications under there to sturdy it up. Also, we added this toolbox. Now this is an option, but it's an expensive one. And uh, we chose to, to mount it ourselves because we have the tools and the ability to. So that's what is done here. Mounted this toolbox. It is meant to hold um, all your straps and stuff like that. So it's a nifty little box there. That is, that is the toolbox. Those are the additions that we made to this trailer. Um, let's see. Oh, here we go. No, I'm looking for the little spec sheet, and I don't know why I didn't scope this out beforehand, but it tells you all the GVW information and stuff like that. You gotta find that. Here, hold on a second. All right, guys, I found the little piece of paper on the trailer that tells you exactly what it's rated. Uh, we have this r trailer rated for 99,990 pounds. So just under 10,000 pounds. That is so that we do not have to have a class A um, CDL. So that is why that's important because we don't have CDLs and we still wanna be able to pull this behind our 3,500 uh, single rear wheel truck that we have. So that, is the, tech, the spec sheet. Let's get a little closer here, see if I can be steady. So, that's where that is. All right, gotta get back up. Okay. Again, this is the trailer. So, what are, what is, let's see, what's the word I want? We're doing a review. I just showed you a bunch of the, the features and stuff like that. But what is the general feel? What is, um, I guess you would say, the subjective nature of this trailer rather than the objective? We talked about the objective. It's very well put together. I mean, you can see that I-beam. But stuff like this right here. A lot of trailers just have this, this piece, and then there's just a gap to the next one. This has this circle gusset in between. And that, when you attach your straps to that, that's not going to bend. Uh, we have a gooseneck trailer without those, and these are warped in. Um, so like I said, it's a very well-built trailer. Um, and like also, getting back to the subjective nature, this trailer is a very good trailer. And I would recommend it to anybody uh, who is looking for uh, a flatbed. Very stout, can hold a lot of weight but doesn't want to go gooseneck, um, doesn't want to go that route, uh, this is a good option. They would not derate a gooseneck for this application. They would just do it for this. So, um, like I said, PJ is a great manufacturer. Um, the only problem we have with this, and it's negated by the customer service, uh, but one of the pistons hydraulic cylinders here this one right here has leaked um and we have we already have the new one um they sent us a new one for free under warranty so like i said it was wrong it was busted from the factory but they sent us one 
good customer service. Um, uh, that was very impressive to me. So, um, subjective nature, thumbs up. This is a great trailer. Um, you should definitely look into buying one of these. This is not a sponsored video. I'm just reviewing something that we have um, here at the camp that I work for, the, the business I work for, and it has worked well for us. And just re recommending it. Hopefully this is helpful to someone. Uh, maybe get some other advice as to if they're going to buy a trailer or not. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was a, a helpful vi video for you. And uh, again, don't forget about the 1,000 subscriber challenge. Uh, hit the subscribe button. Comment if you have a PJ trailer and you would also recommend this trailer. That's really helpful. Any ex experience you have, um, maybe with customer service or something breaking, uh, just, just uh, give your experience on PJ trailers. Uh, you also can put in the comments what your favorite trailer is. That's completely fine. Um, but again, hit the like button, comment, subscribe, and have a wonderful day.